Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Magic Con 2014 playing cards, and I'm definitely really excited to take a look at these cards, so let's get right on into the review. As many of you guys may know, Magic Con is a yearly to bi-yearly conference or convention held in San Diego, California, and is hosted by Dan and Dave. Um, Dan and Dave helped create it, and it is a convention that magicians, cardists, and people alike go to appreciate magic and cards and just go to a convention to talk about it for a solid good weekend. With the attending of this conference, each attendee gets one deck of cards for the year, which is this deck right here. Um, in years past, the other two conventions they had cards at, they released this first deck, then the second deck, and then this is the third deck that they have released through MagicCon. There's been four conferences total, but they've only released three decks of cards. Only 2,500 of these were printed, and uh, the people who attended the conference got one first, and then it was open to the public to buy, and that is where I got this deck right here. So let's get right on into the review. So if you take a look at the front of the box, it says MagicCon 2014 playing cards, big, bold, and out there, and the whole deck box is red. On the side, it says limited edition playing cards, and on the other side, it says April 10th through 13th, which is the date of the conference, and it says San Diego, California, which, as I said before, is where the conference is held. On the bottom, you have the D&D logo, some copyright information, and a star, and the bottom of the card is white. On the top, you get the Magic Con logo. Then we get a glimpse of the back design. However, the cards are not this red color, um, and then it says made in the USA. The flap right here is white and it has lines extending and it has a star right there. And on the inside flaps there's a star as well and the design continues on this flap here. First we'll take a look at the extra cards you get. You don't get jokers in the actual um, Magic Con decks like the two previous. Um, you have a D&D promo card right here. And then you have a nautical star that says learn, share, discover, create, inspire. Next you get a double backer and a blank card. So next we'll take a look at this back design. This back design is a nautical star, therefore it is a one-way back design. It's a bluish purplish color on the back design. I do like the color. However, going from last year's back design being so like geometrically shaped and like awesome, this kind of lets me down a little bit. This back design is actually inspired from uh, Texan cards, which so I understand why it is this simplistic and it looks this way, but at the same time going from last year to this year, the design of the actual backs of cards they do kind of disappoint me, but Magic Con decks are meant to be simplistic. This deck definitely is that, and it looks cool. So next, we'll check out the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is the same in all Magic Con decks. It's a simple Ace of Spades, and then it says Magic Con 2014 at the bottom. And if you'll notice, the black cards, um, so the spades and the clubs, are this dark, dark purple, or like kind of a neon-y bluish color right there. They definitely look cool. I like the simplistic and the colors really pop on this card and we'll see that more once we look at the other cards in the deck. Next we'll check out the King, the Queen, and the Jack of Spades. They are extremely standard but as you see they have that color change to them. They really pop off the cards and I really like these colors that Dan and Dave have incorporated into this deck here. I think it looks really great. As we go through the deck you'll notice that it's all standard um, and the red cards are this like really bright like neon red type of color or this like orange color It's kind of a mixture of both. It looks really cool Everything is standard, but the colors just really pop and I definitely really like that This deck incorporates Dan and Dave's signature stock and finish. They handle great. They last over time the thin borders It kind of looks really cool in a fan the way um, the lines on the cards and the fan meet up. They handle very well over time and heat, humidity, wear and tear. I've used these for quite a bit and I really do truly like the way they handle, like the way they feel. As I said before, I like pretty much everything about this deck and I understand why the back design is simplistic. All Magic Con decks are simplistic. However, last year's geometric shape, it was really hard to beat that, to top that in years forward. Um, and like I said, this deck is inspired from a Texan deck of cards, so I understand why it's simplistic and it looks this direction. And all the Dan and Dave Magicon decks incorporate the star in their back design, and you'll see that throughout all three of the decks. But as I said before, I like the way this deck handles, I like the way it feels, it's durable, and it's a definitely well-rounded deck and something 
quite nice to add to your collection and I would definitely recommend doing so. So this overall deck I would have to give a 4.5 out of 5. This stock is a really happy median kind of stock. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it works well with the finish and I say that in a lot of my reviews but it's true. The stock is not too thick, it's not too thin, it works well and I really do like it. So the stock of this deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. So the look of this deck, um, it's a simple deck like all the Magic Con decks are. It incorporates that star into the back design. Um, it looks nice, it has a really cool colors, they really pop, I really like that about it. Um, like I said, it's inspired by a Texan deck of cards. Um, and I understand its simplicity with that. Um, just last year's deck was hard to top, but this deck in its own right, it does look great and overall a very well-rounded deck. So the look of this deck, I would have to give a four out of five. The handling and feel of this deck is great, as I said before. Um, the stock and the finish work well together. The stock is springy and it feels great. It's that happy median. Everything really works well together. It looks pretty cool in a fan when you fan the cards out. It's got nice and thin borders so you get some of that design within. That's no surprise with Dan and Dave cards. Most of their cards handle great, look great, overall well-rounded, and this deck is no exception. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching my MagicCon 2014 deck review. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like right down there, and definitely comment below your thoughts, comments, feelings, and concerns about this deck right here. If you guys want to check out my deck reviews for the first Magic Con deck and the second Magic Con deck, be sure to check those links out in the description box below and definitely give those a look so you can see how these stack up to this year's deck. And last but not least, definitely make sure to subscribe right down there to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. That's the only way you can guarantee you will know when my next video will be out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. All my links are down below, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Definitely Definitely check that out and again thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for a brand new unboxing deck review or other video coming your way real soon.